Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I will discuss about homoserasticity. Homoserasticity is an assumption in regression analysis. To understand homoserasticity, we must first understand residual values of dependent variable. Residual values are simply the error terms. It is a difference between observed value and the predicted value of the dependent variables. Homoserasticity refers to whether these residuals are equally distributed or whether they tend to cluster together at some values and spread far at some other values. If these residual values are forming equal distribution, it is called homoserasticity. And if these residual values are forming clusters at some values and spreading apart at some other values, it is called as heteroserasticity. We always want to see whether this regression analysis dependent variable is having homoserasticity or not. So let's take an example and discuss it further. Now let's take this sales example. In this example, we have two variables. First variable is experience and the second variable is sales. Experience is independent variable and sales is a dependent variable. Now we will do regression analysis and draw the chart for residual variable distribution. For regression analysis, click analyze regression in this linear. Select sales as a dependent variable and experience as independent variable. To draw the chart for residuals, click on plots and in the pop-up window, select ZRED as X axis and select ZRESID as Y axis. This ZPRED is a standardized predicted variable and ZRESID is a standardized residual variable. Click continue and click OK. And in the output screen, directly we are seeing the distribution of the residual values. You can see on the X axis, we have regression standardized predicted value and in the Y axis, we have regression standardized residual values. Now, if you see the distribution of this residual values, they are distributed uniformly. We don't have any clusters forming together. So this is called as homoserasticity condition. Now, what we'll do is we will discuss about heteroserasticity also. Then you'll understand this homoserasticity in a better way. Now, let us see the residual distribution for heteroserasticity case. Now, in this case also, we have two variables, experience and sales two. This is the sales of another product. Now, let us see the distribution, residual distribution for this example also. Analyze regression in this linear. Select sales two as dependent variable, experience as independent variable. Click on plots, select Z P R E D as X axis and Z R E S I D as Y axis. Click continue and click OK. Now in the output screen, now you can see the distribution of the residual. You can see from left to right, the distribution has taken a triangle shape. It means in the left side, at this portion, it, the, the values are coming very close together. And as we are going from left to right, you can see the distribution is getting scattered. That is, the values are getting far away from each other. But when you are on the left side, you can see a lot of values are accumulating or clustering, forming as a cluster in this part. And as we are moving from left side to right side, you can see the values are getting scattered. This is a case of heteroserasticity. In homoserasticity, we don't have that condition. You can see from left to right, the distribution is equally distributed. The, the residual values are equally distributed. Okay, let me summarize. 
in homoelasticity case the residual values are equally distributed and in heteroelasticity case the residual values are not equally distributed when we do regression analysis we keep an assumption that the dependent variable is having homoelasticity